Mandy here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you guys like this video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you like me, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos that I do in the future. So it is super, super important to me to, um, to give you honest, open reviews of how I genuinely feel about a product. I recently learned that people um, that I have been following get paid to say they like things, which is super annoying to me because um, my husband and I together, we have five children, and I like to go on YouTube and check out a new eye palette and see how did it work, what do my favorite people think about it, and now that I know they get paid to say they like it, it's frustrating to me. So what I decided to do was whenever I get a new a new palette or try a new look or something, I try to give it to you guys and show you exactly what I feel about it. Now I know certain makeup works differently for you know certain people, but that's not what I'm saying. Like I don't know. Um, if there ever comes to a point, I know I'm a very very small channel right now, but if I have a glow up and um, have a lot of subscribers I promise to always give you honest reviews and that's super 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 important to me so anywho into the video so today I am going to show you this new holiday um, package that I got um, I looked it's a Tarte product and it's called pineapple of my eye it's a collector set and it basically is $59 I'm looking on my iPad you guys like my iPad case I love owls, I'm obsessed with them. So um, anyway, it's the pineapple of my eye set and this is the picture online. I don't know if you can see it, here you go maybe. So it comes with this super cute, huge, like, look. So it comes with this beautiful, like golden pineapple. I love pineapples. Uh, not as much as I love owls, but I love pineapples because they um, They're good for your house. They're very inviting and they're just pretty and also recently I posted a picture of um, Like be like a pineapple. I don't remember exactly what it says um, But it's like stand tall and always wear your crown I don't remember what it says, but if I can find it, I'll post a picture So um, it comes with this um, eyeshadow palette. It also comes with a bronzer, two blushes, a highlighter, and a mirror. Mirror. Look, you can see out my window. So, and all my brushes and stuff. <laughs> um, anywho, so this is it. And maybe I'll do this. Um, but the whole thing's kind of reflective in like a mirror, honestly. But it's just so pretty. It's heavy. I love a super heavy, like super nice container for a product. I hate it whenever I buy something really nice and it just feels crappy. Maybe that makes me bougie. I don't know. But I just love a nice, heavy, something that makes me feel good. Like if I'm going to be doing my powder in public, I know this probably sounds super lame and extra, but like I like to have like a nice compact to, you know, I don't know. I just much rather do that than have some kind of crappy plastic or cardboard. I hate cardboard product holders not like eyeshadow palette but like if you guys get ipsy you know what I mean I just like something that feels good in my hand and this is this feels good in my hand plus it's beautiful I don't even put it in my eyeshadow um, like my palette box I just leave it on top because I just think it's pretty okay so along with that you get this lipstick and this comes in like a weird cardboardy and it's so light I can't hold it I drop things all the time I'm just saying and this is the color pink and I'll be putting this on in the video too I don't think I have any tart lipstick so this is like this is gonna be good for me to try and it comes with the lights camera lashes by Tarte mascara these are like the mini sizes um, I've had this in the ipsy bag before I really like it it's not my favorite, but I do really like it. So it also comes with the Sex Kitten Tarte Eyeliner. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I feel like this is, um, I feel like this may be a full size. It's pretty close, but it's kind of got a marker tip. And I did watch some reviews on this, assuming they're honest reviews. I'm, 
I'm sure that this one was because it's Kathleen Lights. I really like Kathleen Lights. I think it was Kathleen Lights. Anywho, whatever. So they said this is better kind of to stamp on instead of draw on because they said that the tip is kind of stiff. We'll see about that. And yeah, that's it. It's $59 and you get all those things. Um, it comes in this super cute box. I mean, I think it's super cute. It's got little kisses on it. I think I did see. Yeah, it like comes out and it's got all this tissue paper in it. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was cool. So there's that. So yeah, I'm going to post an after picture um, right here. An Instagram ready, perfect, beautiful. I'm totally a model, but you'll never know it because actually in real life I'm a mom of five kids and I'm busy and a hot mess half the time. But here's that picture now. And into the video we go. Amazon clay eyeshadow is what's in the palette. Um, and um, it has the shades Float On, Totally Beach In, Samba, Mimosa, Star Fruit Tourist, Mango, Palm, Packing List, Beach Road, Summer Share, Jet Ski, Lay, BYOB, R&R, &R, Short Shorts, Coastal, Pool Service, Rooftop, Ocean Air, Smoothie Bar, Surf Rider, Drop Anchor, and Unplugged. When I put on the colors, I'm not going to tell you what color I'm putting on because they are on the back of this palette, but I know I'm going to mess it up. You can't even see it. But I know I'm going to mess it up, so I'm just going to show you. <laughs> so you get two Amazon clay brushes, one bronzer and one highlight in the shades Private Beach, Blossom, Beachfront, and Baja. You get the Deluxe Sex Kitten Liquid Eyeliner. Deluxe Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara, and the Deluxe Rainforest of the Sea Quench Lip Rescue in Pink Exclusive New Shade, and that's the lippy. Okay, so let's get into this eyeshadow before I get a giant crease in my hair. So we always want to start with a transition color, and with that you're going to use a fluffy brush, and before I do this, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm gonna put on um, an eye primer because my eyes water. I've told you that probably a hundred times. I'm sorry, I sound like a broken record. Um, you can use concealer, you can use eye primer, you can use um, glitter stuff, you can use whatever, but I have to use something or else my eyes look ridiculous. Like, bad. I have to like touch up my eyes a million times a day. But usually this um, using an eye primer will work. I don't know if you guys can use my kit or hear my kids, but they're playing. They're not dying, I promise. My five year old's in there screaming and laughing, but I think you can mostly just hear the screaming. Oops, dropped it. Let's make a drinking game. Um, whenever Mandy drops something, take a drink. I think that is from, I used to work in a factory when I was a single mom. I worked in a factory and, um, and I worked like doing like data entry and just using my hands a lot. And I feel like it definitely has caused my hands to really hurt. If I hold like a really heavy palette, like my hand burns because it's set, like it just hurts. BRB. Oh, sort of to set this um, eye primer, you're gonna wanna put on a color that's close to your skin color all over. So you can use um, a translucent powder, which I'm gonna use the Fit Me translucent powder and just kind of put it all over my eyes. because it's supposed to be kind of translucent. I think it comes in colors though, but it's not like super, like you wouldn't use it as a, like a coverage or anything like that. So I'm just gonna kind of put that on and that way whenever you put on your other colors, it's not, it's gonna kind of glide on rather than feeling like it's tugging, which if you did one eye and um, with an eye primer and then you didn't set it and then you did the other eye and you did set it, you would definitely be able to tell the difference. So I'm just kind of patting that on at first and then I'll kind of 
sweep it because like I said it kind of tugs <laughs> I always do this <sighs> whenever I have powder on my face I don't know it doesn't like really help a lot but it does a little okay does that make sense it doesn't help a lot but it does a little I guess it makes sense I'm gonna leave my powder out I always seem to dip in that whenever I need something like I don't know I just have it out so okay I've got one fluffy brush that I use and I'm putting it right in front of me so I can keep them in order so I can go back and easily grab them so I don't like mix them all up and um, so now I'm just gonna grab this brush this is a Morphe brush but it doesn't have the number on it and it's kind of a gold color it comes in a little kit I did get this at Ulta there's a few of them and it came in a cute little baggie like a little zip bag so it was cute and stuff so now I'm gonna take this color right here it's a little bit darker than my skin tone and I'm just gonna put that in my crease area um, I have hooded eyes so I make my crease higher because you can't see my crease unless if I'm smiling or like like purposely raising my eyebrows so we're just sweeping her around I like a soft rounded edge of my eyeshadow um, I haven't like perfected the sharp wing yet so I don't really do that look but if I were gonna do that look I would use tape because I'm a cheater when it comes to makeup doing shortcuts and things like that I mean not like makeup but you know what I'm saying now, I like to um, whenever it's not so concentrated I like to pull it up to my eyebrow because again I have hooded eyes so I like to have a little bit of color I didn't ever used to do this before I was super insecure about it I thought I looked like a clown but like when I'm just looking especially when my eyebrows are done you can tell like you can't really see what's on my lid so if I just had this in my crease literally you can just see it right here and that's it and that looks weird to me so and I don't walk around like this so I try to pull it up so it doesn't look so funny what's up Cade what's up boo Okay, so so see how now you can see that, see how you can see, 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 see? Okay, so you can see the color go up. Because when I'm doing this, you can still see it because my eyes are hooded. And what that means is that you don't see my eyelid, which is annoying. I really wish that it was, that you could like see them. I don't know. Some people have like really like big eyes and you can just see all the shadow on them and literally you can like only see mine if I am holding my head a certain way or like looking down or whatever so anywho that's just fun fun for hooded eye gals I'm just saying okay so I put that brush next to that one because we keep track of what we're doing here and um, I don't even know I'm wearing this shirt that's gold gray and black it says Hugs, hustle, and happy hour. Hashtag mom life. Yes. Okay. So, so maybe like a goldy, like a pretty goldy look because I'm going out shopping with my daughters and um, we're just kind of going to hang out. So probably something kind of natural and goldy is what I'm thinking. So, um, so yeah, let's grab a little brush and let's go in on... Um, this color here, Let's see, this color, oh, that looks totally, oh, this color, that one, right there, I don't know what it's called, it's that one though, so I'm going to use that on a smaller fluffy brush, and I'm just going to swirl it around, that is kind of a shimmer color, this is a Morphe M506, and I'm just going to kind of press her in there, on the corner, 
and kind of like right out here. <laughs> and since this is the outside color, this is also the color that you're gonna sweep under your eye too. Did I mention that this palette smells wonderful? I don't know where I've been on the Tarte bus, but I don't really think that I have smelled them. And like, they kind of smell like cupcakes. I don't like cake, but this smells good to me. I, I just like to, it smells good. My favorite smelling makeup was too Faced had like a cocoa like foundation powder. Oh my god, I I used every ounce of powder in that pan like and they don't use it any or they don't sell it anymore But oh my god, I loved it. It smelled so good So good. Okay, so I'm gonna put this brush down and I'm gonna pick up the one that did kind of the crease color and blend the edges So it just kind of looks like it all is one, like one color. It just all kind of melts together. Okay, so now, woo! Hello, ah, pigmented. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm a kooky, I'm a kooky girl. I keep a makeup wipe at my um, table so I can wipe off stuff. Okay, 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 okay. We can make a drinking game. How many times does Mandy say okay? Okay, 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 all right. So now I'm just gonna take this pretty gold color, this one right there, and I'm gonna press that on the top of my lid. And for that, I'm going to use a cream shadow brush. This is, I have two of the same brush and this is a unique brush. I love this brush. It's a cream shadow brush and it's wonderful. And it's um, wonderful and fabulous. So I'm just gonna um, grab that gold color and I'm gonna spray her with my setting spray. Is that normal to make a fart noise when you squirt setting spray? I don't know. Told you, we're special here. We are special, but we love everyone for who they are. Nobody is more specialer than the ex. Next. Everybody is more specialer than their ex, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So I'm just kind of pressing that in the center. So there's like that copper color and then the gold color and then I'm gonna use a lighter gold color on the inside of my eye. I love to um, make it to where it's like dark and then gets to like almost a champagne color. I love that, that's my favorite thing to do. I really, really like these eyeshadows. I feel like they're super pigmented. They look pretty. I'm gonna grab that copper color again and spray her. Um, for my lid and just pat her there. Get in there, Shh. Susan. I ain't got time for your lip. I ain't got time for your lip, okay? Yep, I think that's pretty. So I'm gonna take some more of the gold color on this eye. One thing I really like about this palette is that since it's shaped like a pineapple like this, you can hold it like right under the crown and it just makes it super comfortable to hold in your hand. I don't know. I really like that. That might be something weird to mention, but another thing that I wanted to point out that I'm doing is like one side I'm dipping in the copper and the other side I'm dipping in the gold so then when I flip it, then it goes into the color that I need. 
so I don't have to grab another brush. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Now I feel like those are sort of married. We're gonna take a step into the crease and we're going to use this color right here that I accidentally dug my finger in when I almost dropped my palette. <laughs> and I'm gonna use a different brush because take a drink. So now I have my second cream shadow brush because I love it to pieces. I probably need to clean these bad bowies. Bad bowies. So I'm gonna dip it in that light gold shimmery champagne -y color. It's not quite champagne, -y, it's kind of more goldy. And we're gonna spray her. I don't know why I keep making a far noise when I squirt it. Whatever. And we're gonna put her right here in the corner. And we're gonna pick up our gold and make sure she's not overpowered by these little hussies trying to come in on her turf. And then our copper. So do you see how they're just kind of like lighter to darker. I really like that. I really like it a lot. Now I'm going to do the other eye. Okay, so now that we got our tops done, we're going to take our blending brush that had that crease color and kind of clean up the tops where those um, three different colors are that we, where we patted those on there just so that they're kind of, you know, more rounded and more seamless. And that's it for the top of our eyes. And I'm gonna take this brush. This is actually a liner shader brush. And I'm gonna take this light color. It's really just an off-white. And I'm just gonna use that right up here where my brows are just so that that color doesn't go all the way to my brows. I'm gonna do my brows and I'm gonna be right back. Okie dokie, I got all my brows. I highlighted under my brows and I put my shadow under my eyes, which we already discussed. We'll probably wash away anyways which is normal, it's not anything bad for the palette, it's just I have super watery eyes and it's very annoying. So now we're going to put on the Kitty Highlighter and the mascara that comes with the collection and I'll let you know how I feel about that. I am gonna use pencil in my lower lash line though. I mean, my lower waterline. I don't like to use liquid liner down there, down yonder, on yonder. So here we go. Well, it's going on really smoothly. I really like this. I'm kind of gliding along on its side though. I'm not like using it as a point. But I really like it. I mean, it's going on pretty, pretty good. It's harder for me to do my left eye because I have to cross my tiggle bitties. And I can't really see like where I'm going with it because like it's blocking my view. But it went on really good. I'm gonna put that in my little. So when I get ready during the day, the things that I think I might have to touch up or whatever, obviously not the palette, but like um, foundation or powder, my lippy, stuff like that. I always put it in a little bag like while I'm getting ready and then that way it's just ready to go. 
ready to go with me. So now we're just going to curl our little lashes using our little cute mermaid tart. Oh, that fits, it's tart. Mm. So we're just gonna curl our little lasheroos. I like to do kind of the tips and I like to kind of try to get the whole thing in there. I used to never do this. I thought, oh, it's not helping, it's not, it's not doing anything at all. But it really does help, I think. Really. Oh yeah, there we go. Just don't pinch your skin in it, that hurts. It's definitely no good, don't do that. Okay, so put her away. She doesn't need to travel with me. Okay, so lights, camera, action. Is that what it's called? Lights, camera, lashes, not action. <laughs> so I really like the case. It's different. And I really like the wand. It's thick and stiff. Um, my favorite mascara is Epic Mascara, but also my favorite Epic Mascara because it doesn't make my eyes water as much. I really like that about it. Um, but I really like this Bad Girl Bang by Benefit, but I hate, if that mascara had this brush, I would be like in love. So when you do your mascara, you want to start all the way at the bottom and pull it all the way to the tips. I do it slowly to try to get every, like at first, to try to get every lash through it. And this wand separates your lashes really, really good. So we got the base really well. Don't forget your little outside lashes. And don't forget your little inside lashes. I always go in and do a double coat to do the ends, but like I make sure and do the base close to my eye really well because you can't really do a double on that as well. If you're not doing this, when you're putting on your mascara, then you're not normal. I'm just kidding. You're totally normal. Everybody is weird, so embrace your weirdness, girls. Okay, I dropped something, take a drink. So after they dry, I like to do a, a double coat and that way it just makes the ends thicker and more pronounced. on YouTube is probably other than makeup tutorials and things like that is I really really love the BuzzFeed Unsolved Shane and Ryan I think is their names they're so funny I love what plus it's sort of educational because he he's doing research and going over facts and stuff and um, but they're just so funny as good as we're gonna get so this is my look I'm looking at my 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 video to see how crazy my hair is okay so this is the look and I did use most of um, the stuff from the palette 
I forgot to use the blush, but I did go back in and do a little bit on the centers of my face, and I think that's everything. So I definitely think that this is worth the price point. I really like um, to get samples. I actually, when I purchased this, I also got extra samples that came in the mail for the shape tape and foundation, which I can't wait to try. Um, but I definitely think it was worth the price point. I did get free shipping. Um, and I also got 10% or 15% off, I don't remember, um, because I never ordered offline. Usually I like to go into Ulta, but Ulta didn't have it. They had the other holiday one, which has similar products, but the only difference is that like um, in the fold out for the, I, think, I don't remember if it's like a, if it's like a circle or like, um, like a hexagon or something, but um, it was, it's really pretty glittery on the top and then it kind of opens like, um, like a tri-fold wallet. I don't know how to explain it, but like one of them had like the holders for the little minis that it came with, which it came with the Tartlet um, mascara, the little gold one, um, and like a couple other minis, but I didn't like that. I felt like it was a waste of space for me and I didn't want to have the gaps there where those little minis sit, even though it's kind of cool to have it all in one thing. I didn't like that. I wanted just one palette with all this stuff and then I would just have these things separate but anyway that was just my preference but I think that this look looks really pretty it's kind of a natural but shimmery pretty look um, I'm gonna put everything that I use in the description box and I hope that you guys really like this video and if you did please give me a big thumbs up be sure and subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications so you don't miss any future videos and I will um, I will, the next video I make is probably gonna be for the ColourPop Disney collection. I really, really like that. I don't have all the pieces, but I have some of the key ones, so I'll probably make that video next, so be on the lookout for that. I try to post at least once a week. I have to go about my day, and I will post an Instagram ready, beautiful after picture here. and some links to my next videos and a link to subscribe. So I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I'll see you next time, bye.